guys, it's Laura, also known as Lala. And Leslie, also known as You Don't Call Me Less, and this is episode 13. 13. Lucky Lenny number 13. Girls. So, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, we appreciate it. And if you're a new viewer, Hi. hello. So, we're just going to go ahead and get into our regularly scheduled programming. Although, change of venue, we are at Laura's house. And we're on the sun porch, so, so it's hot. Yeah, we wanted something just a little different to mix it up. Really, it's because I took a day off and I didn't feel like recording in my house, so we were here anyway spinning. We so. spent the day spinning. It's a hard life. And watching Dirty Jobs. Love my crap. Yeah, so it's it's difficult, but somebody, you know, has somebody to do has it. to, so... <laughs> Uh, works in progress. Why don't you talk about what you're wearing? Okay. I am in the middle of a pair of Vert Zig socks. It's by Love Laughing Knit. And it's really kind of hard to see the pattern. But there's pearl bumps that zig and zag. And it's just a lovely pattern for mindless knitting. So, and they're toe up. And I love toe up socks. Now, is the pattern released yet or are you test knitting? Um, well, she gave it to me to test knit, but I'm behind in everything that I do. Sorry, Megan. <laughs> so, um, I have one done in the start of the second. Yep, she is powered. Um, I think she's released the pattern yet. I have the pattern, so I don't really there's catch up wow. on stuff. <laughs> what else? Because you know there's more. Oh, I have my Norwegian Rose. Yay! And it's got stuff. It's got color. Look. Prettiness. So you've got like a sort of a Kelly green almost. Yep. And a Happy Forest and Gothic Rose cool. from Dreaming Color Smushy. So this is the first sock. <laughs> and it is. It may be the last sock. <laughs> <laughs> I am personally hedging bets on whether or not these get finished at all. Hmm. But I say. Now I just have to do this. Yeah, I know. Like, you. <laughs> ooh, reverse psychology, anyone? Um. Uh, but I think that you. If you do finish them, they should be finished by the Arkansas Fiber Arts thing. Extravaganza. Oh, I would hope that they'd December. be finished by December uh, if they're not. Some of your lingering projects. Um, so is that all, or do you have anything else that you want to That's talk all about? I'm really working on right now. I finished a bunch of stuff. Cool. Yay. Well, I am I guess I really shouldn't have started this row right before I showed this. Here, let me tink back. I am working on... I can just blather about nonsense. The Perfect stuff. Day Yarns... Um, the latest club colorway, which is Attain, Attain the Way, right? Attain the Way. Because the other was Realizing the Way. Um, and oh, I, maybe it's Realizing No, the way. that was another, it was another scheme this round, but it wasn't this one. Okay. Um, Silly poets naming your poems similar things. So I decided on Victorine, which we can link in the show notes, and this is what it looks like. Um, and I'm loving the color so far. Uh, I did make a modification, the center, like, netted area in the pattern is about a third wider than this and I didn't want it that wide so I changed it and then I messed up a corner I missed a yarn over right there right there so but I don't care because it's for me if it was for somebody else I would fix it but it's for me so I don't care no nah, just working on it so that is my only work in progress. I actually don't even have a crochet work in progress right now. Wow. Well, a spinning is a work in progress, but that's yeah, that's a whole not other on segment. Yet. Um, finished objects. You want to? Do you have any? I know you have FOs to show yes. off. I'm not even gonna. You I can do. Go start. You can go See first. Okay, so I finished my Norwegian roses and blocked them, and here they are. So, uh, this was the first one I did with the red as the main color. This is the green with the main color. I actually like this one a little bit better because I think the, um, no, I'm sorry, I lied. I like this one a little bit better because the <laughs> red in the flowers pops better. And they are a little difficult to get on. They take me about 15 or 20 <laughs> seconds to get on each foot, but once they're on, they're nice and snug. And they're not coming off. They're not, no. You could wear them on a roller coaster. If I desired, <laughs> I suppose that I could. Uh, but they'll, they're winter socks because they're double thick anyway. So um, they're done. Yay. I have Yay. to get a picture of them and put them on Ravelry. Yeah, you will. I haven't done that yet. Um, my other finished object is a crochet finished object for my ex-brother-in-law. My Anyway, for a friend. Um, and I made a little crochet bowl. This is the filigree bowl. And I think you should make another one and keep that one for your spin. I think I'm, I'm going to take and make another one because I want to enter one in the fair because it's so easy to do and it's, it gives a nice result. Although I did learn from this one, I didn't flatten out all the edges when I stretched it around a bowl to dry. So some of them are kind of crooked. And then this part right here is kind of imperfect. But anyway, um, I used a cornstarch recipe to stiffen it. 
but it probably would have been fine with the commercial fabric stiffener. That's what I'll use next time because the cornstarch was messy as hell. So, it's Yay, my filigree bone. Yeah, cute little bowl that holds fiber. And right now it's holding fiber. <laughs> so, what about you? What are your finished? Do you have some lovely things to show this week? I do. I have lots of stuff. Um, last week when I was at TNNA, all I worked on was this. It's out of some lovely tempted yarn. It's the It's Good to Be a Girl pattern on Ravelry. Um, let me see if I can find not the bind off. One of the bind offs is in a different color. A curious Halfway Creek. Halfway through. It's out of Curious Creek. It's on this side. Yeah. So from, see where that tail is? Over. From here yep, to here. There's around 95 stitches there that are bound off in a different color, but I think it looks pretty good. It's hidden pretty well. I you really can't it see. Have, yeah, it looks good. Um, so, if you're going to make this pattern, <laughs> you should probably, if you want to do it her size, I'll probably go with 500 yards. Because I came up um, around, what did I say, 2,800 stitches short with the same amount of yardage yeah. that she used. Um, so And don't, let, don't think it's because she swatched for it, because that <laughs> didn't happen. So. That didn't happen. <laughs> but um, I'm usually pretty much on, I guess I... But 2,800 stitches is a lot. That's that's a significant difference. That's yeah. a big difference. Because I would assume that you would overestimate what the yardage should be, and you you know yeah. end up with extra. But um, well, she did one out of Bugga, which is a 400 yarder, and she got six more repeats than I did. And then um, she did one out of Womaza. And see, that's the issue with patterns on Ravelry when they have like 20 projects. Let me take a sip of my dad duck cover is that um, some people, like, I don't think, a couple people had said, oh, I couldn't get as many repeats. Right. But a lot of people had done it out of Wolmiza, which, which is has, yeah, or like Numa Numa, yards, and yeah. Alan's so generous with her skein size. Right. Um, so they came out fine, but those of us that use 400-yard skeins came up a little bit short. So, um, anyway... My notes are my pattern. I was a little bit irked when I wrote it, like my notes on my yeah. Ravelry page. But, but I mean, it's I'm getting now that I found yeah. the matching yarn and could bind off, and it's blocked, and I just have to weave in the ends, and it's pretty. And Stacy's yarn is always a joy to knit with. And this is this was an unnamed skein. This was an unnamed skein right. that she gave me at um, Spring Fling last year, and it's squishy and mine. I love I know, it. It's very pretty. I need to Thank steal you, that. Thank you, Stacy. It's pretty. And then. Um, I'm doing my stash down, and I'm down to, let's see, I was at 40, and then I finished that, so that takes me to 39, and then this is a little girl's vest from a Knitting Pure and Simple pattern, and we're going to go buy buttons for it later, and that took three skeins, so that takes me to 36, so I'm at 36 minus this one sock, because I finished that, so I'm at 35 skeins for my stash down. And what really put me a lot down is I finished the hypotenuse. Yay! And you took this to TNA, right? And I did. So this was how many skeins of Noro? Uh, nine skeins of Noro, but I only counted the ones that I finished, which was four. And that was, you only counted the ones that you finished after you started the stash down? Yeah. Okay. So that was four. I really love the striping on that. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's really, really heavy. I was at TNA and, um... I went to the Ravelry Ice Cream Social and I was wearing it so I could show Anne and then I never really saw her. But um, Anne Hansen's the designer. Lovely designs. I love the knit spot patterns. Anyway, and so we're waiting in line and they had a lot more people show up than they expected because they announced that there was going to be a Ravelry party at the fashion show. Yeah, so that's what everybody So was free ice cream. Yeah, yeah. everyone was like, oh, free ice cream. So they Don't all get went, behind her in between a knitter and her ice cream. Yeah. Day. So, um, I was standing behind the lovely woman who runs Soak, her company, and um, some people who were behind me had just started a brand new, um, like a bulky cotton uh, company, and uh, we waited in line for an hour, hour and 15 minutes for ice cream. Wow. 